Hey guys, this is Blue Spot 26. Um, today I'm gonna talk about um. Well, before I begin, something's been bothering me recently, and sometimes uh, you might know us on my channel. There um are a lot of haters. When I go out and want to enjoy music, there are so many people out there who are actually complete idiots, and sometimes I feel like um I wanna you know just take them out of the um the channel pages and the comment section for hating on a certain band nowadays that's that's growing um quite popular um and they're turning out very successful and that band is Blackful Brides and uh well you could call them BVB if you want um basically what I'm going to talk about is it's not going to be like some kind of a big you know like a big rant thing I'm not the guy who would rant. I'm just going to talk about, you know, what I think about it and some truth about it. You know, if I were to rant, you know, usually rants have more of an anger type thing going on. They kind of got, you know, this is the truth and I'm going to enforce it. No, I'm not that kind of person. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm just here to talk about it, not just, you know, get all angry and pissy and just throw it out there. Um, just the first question is why hate on BVB? Um, I don't see if there's a reason. You know, a lot of people are just people who have a bad time and, you know, they want to listen to music. They run into this pile of crap and they just don't like it. I don't see why I hate on them. Honestly, I, li I like BVB a lot. I think they're good. They're one of my favorite bands. Definitely in my top ten. Um just uh, people pick on them for their looks and how that they're n um they're not talented how can you say that when these guys have amazing guitar solos are extremely melodic and a lot of bands can't do that you know and the singer definitely can sing he he Andy Beersack he's got he's got pretty good vocals and he can scream, but you know he. I have heard that he does kind. He does kind of cheat when he'd when he'd scream. He kind of breathe in. Or he would kind of inhale, exhale, and stuff like that. But whatever. Just those. Those are just average theories I'd hear. But um, that's just what I want to say. It. What reason do you have? Hey, and BBB. Another thing is that. Do you hate them because they're associated with many hair bands out there I, I mean I I'm a guy who is you know I'm into you know the thrash metal stuff now I'm I've always been a metal person but even though um BVB isn't necessarily all metal they only have written a few metal songs that are actually quite aggressive at times but um they usually what for what I've seen are a hard rock band, a glam metal punk hard rock band, and so what if they use screeching vocals? I mean, people in punk bands do that, and some people in hard rock music do that. So I don't see why BVB and BVB wouldn't. So another thing I want to talk about is that how are they emo faggots? Another thing, a lot of people accuse of people being emo when, well, I honestly couldn't give a crap about that anymore because it's gotten old. People are stereotypical idiots about that. You know, and they say, oh, this kid's emo and he cries a lot. Well, the funny thing is, aren't we all emo? Take that thought for a minute. And if it doesn't get to your head, well, I guess you're kind of, uh, I'm not going to say it, it will be offensive, but you probably know what I'm trying to say. Um, just, I don't see how they're em emo faggots or, or gay or anything because, you know, you know, Andy Beersack has stated that, you know, we are all faggots, you know, I guess we are, but he knows that he doesn't mean it, because the truth is, they aren't. It's just bullies and haters and all that, that are complete immature brats, just, they just want to bash others on it, because they want to see things th through their eyes. And, you know, that can be quite the problem, they're controlling they're really controlling people who are taking over the freedom of what the message is. 
in music is showing how you feel. That's how they do it. If you got a problem with them showing how they feel, well, you got a problem. That's n n that's none of our problem. It's yours, you know. So deal with it on your own. I mean, if you want to hate someone to have someone show you hate back, well, you're going to be lost in life. I mean, hate, everyone knows hate itself is a good thing. And no matter what you believe, you know it's not a good thing. And if you don't do something good, eventually something bad will happen. So, um, by another thing, all of them have stated that they are straight, and there is plain out evidence that they are straight. Other than how they look, I mean, when they look, I do admit, the lead singer does look like a girl sometimes, but don't we sometimes, don't we sometimes all feel that way in a way? I mean, I don't know, it's kind of, it's, that was kind of a stupid statement, I, but I mean, don't we kind of all feel, all men get that feeling, they just feel like, oh, I feel like a girl sometimes, you know? There are many men who eventually feel that way. I there are so many men out there who just you know they want to put more effort into stuff and say, hey, I'm I'm not a a little I'm not a little girl and all that. I'm not I'm not a scared little guy. They want to be tough, you know, which is understandable. It's in our nature to do that. Um, but another thing is that this here's one thing. Ashley Purdy is a ladies' man. Um, and Jake eventually had some past with, girl, with some girls, I believe. I don't remember anymore. Um, Andy Biersack has dated two women by far in his music career. He dated, um, one girl, I do not remember her name. And he didn't, he's currently dating another, probably still is, I'm betting, which is Juliet Sims. And thus, they're not gay. And people just use the gay word, just to, it's just a new thing on stupid. And that's when they say emo, they also got to be the most stereotypical, idiotic people. Because stereotypical stereotypical people are pretty much a problem nowadays. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about is them being posers. Okay, I can't blame me on this, but um, 